Now, it's day three of our lawn mower restoration and things are progressing very nicely. So far, mower enthusiast Stan Hardwick has taken the engine of the Atco standard apart and polished up the fuel tank. Today, he attacks the old rust and paint. Right, this is the Atco oval frame, the first Atco made by uh, Charles H. Pugh. It was brought about by a director of uh, Atco's, uh, had a pony mower, and his pony died, and he didn't want to buy another pony, so he uh, developed the Atco standard. And this one's the, called the Atco oval frame, made in 1921. They made 921 of them in the first year. So it's a beautiful machine. It's got the old white motorcycle type engine on with a sense brake carburetor, a lovely brass tank on it. A smashing machine, really. Really like it, and now it's got a proud place in my conservatory. The next stage in the restoration is to clean all the rust off and all the old paintwork. And then uh, we'll take it down to bare metal, then it'll be oiled and ready for painting. We tried some to begin with, and uh, first of all we painted them, they went rusty. And then uh, we've got better at it, and uh, really this uh, oiling them down for a day or two seems to have worked. And uh, we'll get some good results now. That's just general experience, really, sort of trial and error. You can see traces of rust underneath the paintwork, so it's very important to get all the old paint off to get at the rust underneath, although something maybe looks all right on top. It isn't. So it's just giving us another layer of paint. You need to really clean it all off. Well, that's about it. It's just about, it's about ready for oiling now, so we'll put that one down. Cause we, we, that's the first, one of the first piece we need because it's got to be ground. It's got to be ground up, sharpened, and then the next one is the cutting cylinder. So we'll better start that next because this has to be sharpened as well. It'll never cut grass as it is now. So once all these, all these blades sharpening, all the rough edges taken off, uh, cut grass. Uh, this is the full range of Atco standards made by Charles H. Crew in the 20s, all but for one, which is a 14 inch. And I've got one of those because it hasn't been restored yet. The ones with the brass tanks are the early ones. That 22 inch there is a 1922, which is the one that's made immediately after the uh, oval frame. These ones with the steel tanks are the later ones. They were made about 1927. The other ones are about 24 and 25. The 22 inch I bought in a farm sale quite a few years ago. Right, this is the engine, which we're going to restore. The engine block is perfect. There's no play at all on it. So we're going to leave well alone on that. But we have to remove the carburetor. That's the clean up. Remove the petrol pipe. So those two are to polish. And then we remove the flywheel cover. We'll have that polished up. All what we need to do is adjust the points, make sure there's a good spark on it, and then everything should be ash. It's got lovely compression of that. I travel all over the country for them. And uh, in fact, I went to Ireland for this one. And it was our wedding anniversary, really. <laughs> and I said to my wife, I said, I think we ought to have a trip to Ireland. He says, oh, said, are you going for a lawn mower? I said, well, it is a general idea, like, to pick one up while we're there. So I went over for, for about four days, and I couldn't wait to pick it up. So I went, the first day we were over there, I picked my lawn mower up and stripped it down and had it in the car boat for three days, carried it around Ireland. <laughs> I did another tour of Ireland before it came home again. <laughs> <laughs> 